Hi everyone, welcome to VLSI Academy. We have so far learnt about CTS goals including SKU, latencies and other clock gating path related topics. In today's video, we will be learning about crosstalk issues in design and how do we mitigate it. This is 60th video and if you have stayed tuned so far then you would have learnt about floor planning and placement related concepts. We have understood about how to analyze congestion timing and our ongoing topic is clock tree synthesis and in that you have we have seen that CTS goals, clock getting path analysis and now we are understanding about crosstalk issues in this video. Now first thing first, what is crosstalk? Switching of signal in one net can interfere with neighboring net and that leads to the cross coupling capacitance known as crosstalk. Now crosstalk may lead to setup or hold violations. There are two main effects of crosstalk. First is noise or we call it as glitch and second one is your crosstalk delay. In order to understand crosstalk glitch, let us first understand the terminology related to crosstalk. So when one net interferes with other net, the net causing the crosstalk is aggressor and the net suffering because of it is the victim net. Now let us first consider the case where aggressor net is switching and victim net is at a constant low. To understand this, let us take this example here. So there are two nets. The above net is let us say that this is your aggressor net and this one is the net which is switching and the below net is your victim net. So this net is your victim net and this net has a constant low. So this means that it is at a logic zero and this net is your switching net. So let us say that this one is going from 1 to 0. If it is going from 1 to 0, the output would be switching at 0 to 1. Now let us assume that this net is very physically closer to this logic 0 going net which is a victim net. So there will be a capacitance represented here which is called as mutual capacitance. So CM here is a mutual capacitance. Now what happens is since it is going from 0 to 1 and there is a mutual capacitance so there is this node A and this node V. Now what will happen is the potential at A node will keep on increasing from 0 to 1 because of this your victim, victim net also will be switching and what happens is it will not remain at a logic 0 level because of this mutual capacitance developing between node A and V there will be a bump you can say a voltage bump that will be observed in the logic 0 level. So this is your noise or you can say a glitch which is occurring in the logic zero net. So this is called as glitch or crosstalk noise. So there is, will be some noise margin levels here and if this net is going above the noise margin level then there will be a problem. So for a logic zero signal there will be some noise margin low which will be representing when you can interpret as a signal to be low. If it crosses that noise margin level then tool might not be able to interpret as a logic zero. It may represent it as a logic one or something else as a garbage value. There can be a possibility where aggressor net is switching and victim net is at a logic high and that means it is at a logic one constant level. So let us say that if it is switching from zero to one here, so it will be switching at an output of inverter as one to zero and then there is a cons this mutual capacitance being developed and that is CM and this node A is actually going to discharge and at that time if this node V will be having problem. Why? Because this node which is this node V which is at a constant high level so there is some constant low level at that time what will happen is it will pull it down and there will be a voltage droop. We call it as voltage droop which will occur because of which what will happen is your logic 1 if this signal this droop goes below your noise margin high level at that time what will happen is it can be misrepresented as logic zero and that is a noise. So you do not want your signal to be misinterpreted that is we want to avoid the glitches and noise in the your design. Now what will happen if your aggressor net is switching and victim net is switching too. So let us say that your aggressor net is a constantly switching net and you have this net represented in the waveform of a clock. Let us take an example for a clock. So this is your aggressor net which might be a clock net or any constantly switching net and this is your victim net which is going very physically closer to the aggressor net. Now let us say that if your victim is going also in the same direction as a switching net. 
so then in that case what will happen is your both your aggressor will aid you can say that it will aid in the transition and it is called as positive crosstalk it will aid in the transition means if you wanted your transition to be little high but it has aided it so transition will improve and it might result in hold critical path so hold might come on a critical path so hold for hold it is not favorable but for setup it is improving the transition so it might be helpful then there is an another case where you have aggressor and victim going in opposite direction at that time what will happen is your aggressor will cause the victim for uh, transition to go bad so your transition will be bad for the hold uh, bad for the setup and it is called as negative crosstalk or negative delay because it is bad for your transition so it will worsen the transition you can say that it will worsen the transition and it is bad for setup so negative crosstalk is when you go in opposite direction with respect to aggressor and your victim is uh, when it is changing in the same direction then it is good for uh, setup or you can say bad for hold one very common question asked in the interview is how do we analyze the crosstalk so the command to do that in the tool for synopsis it is report underscore timing because it affects your timing so timing command only we will use but the switch will be report underscore timing after that if you want to analyze it on a specific net then that is a different case for a full design you can use hyphen cross underscore talk cross talk underscore delta so that will give you a special column where you can see the crosstalk if it is there it will be represented and it will also show that how much bad is the crosstalk because of that if any timing is degrading it will show if you want to analyze it on a specific net then you can give hyphen nets and then your net name on which you want to analyze the crosstalk that way you will know the crosstalk through that particular net. That is all for this video. We will come up with more concepts in further videos. Till then, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel and do give your important feedback in the comment section. Thank you.